What's up guys? It's 10.25 at night and aside from a lunch break, I have been working all day. So the guy who takes the photos for our inventory is on vacation and so I am on inventory photo duty and we were so behind that we have just a row of cars that all need to go back to the other dealership. They're at like this. So we have two dealerships here and they're both owned by the same person and they're like 10 miles apart and we get them taken out one dealership and then they have to get transported back to the other dealership and it's a mess um i took pictures all day today and then about six six or six thirty i um i went to starbucks and i decided that i was just going to knock it all out i'm going to upload all these pictures so i'm at starbucks and i'm going through these pictures and i'm uploading them to the website and everything and now it, it's like 10 30 and I have not stopped working all day other than my break for lunch where I got Wingstop because I had been craving it all day. But anyway, that was my day today and while I was sitting here editing, um, I, I realized that my battery was dead. Uh, okay. There we go. <laughs> I realized that my... Wow. The light's awful. Do I have my glasses? That'll make it. There we go. Everything's better. I wear my sunglasses at night so I can so I can vlog. So while I was sitting at Starbucks and working, I was like, I really want to vlog right now and I don't know why. But the thing is is I, I need to update the vlog because if you follow my vlog and see my videos that I've been trying to upload consistently weekly, I uploaded a video from my phone the other day and it said that I will not be making vlogs anymore and it was kind of clickbait but I wasn't sure when I was going to be able to make vlogs again and the reason is is because I dropped my computer and I can't afford to fix it or replace it and um, it was a touchscreen computer so when I would try to do anything with the crack in the screen, it would just act, think I was pressing all over the place and it wouldn't let me do anything. I was able to go into my settings and fix it. So now I'm actually able to use my computer despite the fact that there's a huge crack across the screen and it's only getting worse when I move it around. Like the crack starts getting like bigger. Like there's this big black dot like that big in the middle of my screen right now. And it aggravates me, but I, I was still able to upload. So. I went out mudding the other day in the Jeep and I was able to make just kind of a low quality video but I just wanted to record it having fun out there and I uploaded the video but I didn't make a video explaining how I was able to do that or like updating about any of that so I figured I'm just going to make this video that's not going to be the best lighting or anything. My phone has no light. Boom my phone's light. Suddenly, instantly good light. <laughs> okay, so if you saw at the end of that video, I was actually about 20 minutes away from my house and I was stranded because the Jeep, I was driving it home and I noticed that the battery was showing it wasn't getting any charge at all. So I was like, great. I think my alternator's dead. I was like in denial and I was like, no, it'll just be the battery. I just need to, for some reason, I just need to jumpstart it. Everything will be okay. And of course it was not that easy. Um, the, the alternator was completely shot and it turns out so was the battery, which wasn't a real shock. The next day, my dad and I drove all the way down there. I had bought the alternator in case we needed to change it. This, this really nice family let me actually leave the Jeep at their house and so that, that was really nice of them and me and my dad went out to go get it and it was freezing and it was raining like the roads were flooded raining and it was cold we drove all the way out there and I left the keys and I had locked up everything on the Jeep just in case so I couldn't get in so I was trying to get in but I had locked everything and I was like great my dad was like you've done this twice when my Miata got stranded one time we drove all the way out to get it and I had forgot the keys that time too and oh they're closing up shop so now this looks like a scary scary video they're probably gonna ask me to leave anyway um uh, it looks so weird so we had to drive all the way back we got my other key we drove all the way back there got in we had charged the battery the day before we plugged it in and we just crossed our fingers and as soon as we put the battery in my dad jump-started me to just give me a little extra juice 
as soon as you disconnected those cords I took off and the battery was already draining the alternator wasn't charging it at all and it turns out that I didn't have any light it was at night out in the country narrow two-lane road I couldn't see a single thing my lights were like there <laughs> I think my flashlight right here is lighter than both my headlights I was completely blind relying on just the oncoming traffic to know that I wasn't in the right lane that was probably the scariest thing I had ever done I like legit would just lose traction i'm over here flying down the road i'd hit a puddle and i just feel the whole jeep just lose traction and i just skid and i can't see a thing i know i was speeding but i had my lights off on the dashboard so i don't even know how fast i was going and it, it, was, it was an experience but we, we made it home it took a while took a couple jump starts and just letting the battery charge but inevitably i got the jeep home I was able to change the alternator and as soon as I changed the alternator my what's it called hydraulic dampener my hang on I know what it's called no I don't it's such a stupid name harmonic balancer and I, I'm so bad with names so the harmonic balancer it has this if you don't know what that is basically your engine has these different wheels and you have a belt that goes around them and the harmonic balancer is like the really big one in the middle and it's this wheel about that big and inside of it is a piece of rubber it's a rubber seal that goes around the wheel and it's so tight in because it's just all one cap compact part and that helps absorb some of the vibration in the wheel well it got old and brittle and it started to come out and as it was coming out it was making this kind of weird dripping noise and I had no idea what that noise was coming from well it got even worse where it actually sounded like more of a rattle and it sounded like there was a screw bouncing around somewhere so I'm looking everywhere and it turns out the fan had been hitting the rubber while it was breaking off and so I pulled it out and then immediately the belt broke off and I ended up having to go buy the, a new harmonic balancer pop that off put the new one on luckily the guy I bought the Jeep from had a spare belt and so I was able to save some money because I just took that belt and I put the belt on so I got a new belt new harmonic balancer and everything ran tight we were good but unfortunately I tried to put the 33 inch wheels from my Jeep Wrangler onto the XJ and I didn't really feel like cutting the fenders but silly me decided I wanted to see if they would work anyway and they kind of did but they were rubbing and inevitably they rubbed so bad they actually already tore up the fenders I didn't I thought I was just going to tear up the plastic but I actually bent metal um so I, I have to get up underneath there and see the damage I did but I really don't want to cut the fenders because the whole XJ is original and so I was like I really want to keep the fenders and so I put the old wheels back on and right now my situation is I'm trying to make it so I can get some cheap all-terrains and get them on there but I'm having trouble with my budget right now because I am like super broke and I'm having trouble figuring this whole thing out as for living in the Jeep I actually lived in it for about a week I, I was trying to see how long I could last in it the problem was is as soon as I got oh wait oh I haven't even updated about that have I oh my word this is how behind I am I lived in it for about a week, and if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know more about this, but I haven't updated this on the vlog. Well, the Jeep's rear suspension was sagging so bad that when I would hit any form of bump, it would slam on the ground. The rear leaves would flex so much, and I had my struts were completely shot, and so it would just... I hit a bump the other day, and... As soon as I went over it, you could just hear the rear slam on the ground and you know, that it sounded awful. It rode awful. If I hit a pebble on the highway, the whole thing would shake and it was not safe at all. So I drove about 45 minutes out of town and I got these leaf swings from this guy and he was actually nice enough to give me some of his old struts. That He said they were just cheap struts and that he'd let me have them. So for $75, I got some use good condition crown automotive heavy duty leaf springs some napa struts and i then i drove down to this guy who I, who was going to help me with the lift and i bought some spacers from him i got these spacers and i spent two all-nighters no sleep sit up all night and i got the rear leaf springs on it, it was cold and it was raining and i actually was soaking wet middle of the night freezing with my cup of coffee 
and just listening to documentaries about Carol Shelby and there was just something really relaxing about it and even though my mom scolded me about staying up late and working on the Jeep when I need sleep I feel like it's just like this mo just sitting outside and working on that Jeep for that long was just really calming to me and it really helped me de-stress after a long day and even though I was exhausted by the end of it like I would do it again when I have that much motivation to do something, I just want to do it and I can't sleep anyway. So so I was able to get that all figured out and at, by the end of the day, I got about a 2.5 inch lift on the Jeep. The problem was is as soon as I got the rear leaf springs on, I had gone into my backyard to do it and our backyard has these like stone steps. And while I was driving off to try to squeeze in between my YJ, trying to not hit my YJ while trying to like also not scrape my tires, and I just barely scraped one of the tires. It, it destroyed the tire, like just punctured it immediately. The sidewall was done, and I was like, great. So I had to take my spare tire and put that in replace of it, but the spare tire is like a half an inch smaller. So now the Jeep's got like one odd tire out and it makes it, you know, just a little warped, but it'll work for now. The problem is, is I can't afford to replace the tires, but the biggest thing was the way I had built my, my budget overland build was completely relying on the spare tire to support my table. I have the spare tire here and I built a table that slides out. Stupid loud truck. I built a table that slides out and the tire counts as a counterweight so when you would put weight on the table it would rest up against the rubber tire and that was how I was cooking my meals and so I wasn't able to cook after that and I've tried to find all sorts of ways I can substitute but then also I'm kind of scared to go out and go places without a spare tire which is why I put the 33s on the Jeep so I would have a spare but they didn't work so so I, I don't know what to do now and um, I'm trying to figure out what I can do to get back in the Jeep. I've been trying to find other budget options to make like a drawer system, but I'm not very good with woodwork. Yeah, that's why I haven't been living in the Jeep. And I just wanted to kind of update all this stuff, what I've been up to. I'm going to upload this next video as soon as possible. Um, I just wanted to make this one a real quick one where I just talk about what's been going on. And the next video is actually going to be what happened two nights ago. We have a new cousin. My aunt just gave birth to this little little baby boy and so we hadn't got to go see him. And we went back to Midland to go see him and so I got a video of that. And But I felt like I needed to update what was going on before I just feel like I completely just tossed out the whole idea with the Jeep. I'm still trying to figure out how I can live back in the Jeep because that's my plan. But right now, um, I haven't figured out how to do that, even though I really miss it and I really want to do it because that's my ultimate goal. As for the Wrangler situation, I am so close to getting it done. I just bought the couple more parts I need. I, the only thing I need now is to get the transmission mount bracket. And I, I, I think I have it somewhere. The, apparently the automatic one's different from the AX15, but they're used for like 150 bucks on eBay. And I don't want to spend that with the other things I need to buy right now. But I, I'm so excited to hopefully get the Wrangler up soon. And I really want to start making videos about the Wrangler again. And I miss doing the Jeep videos. I miss like vlogging on the weekends. Like I've been really wanting to do it. It's only been like two, it's only been like a month. But I feel like I haven't been making the videos I want to make, the content I want to make. And it's really hard to make videos when you don't really enjoy it or you don't really feel like they're interesting. And even this video right now even feels more interesting than the last couple of videos I've made because I feel like I was just, you know, recording because I needed to and not because I wanted to. And I, I feel like I'm making this video because I actually wanted to make it. So even though this video is not gonna be that interesting, it's just gonna be me talking. I just felt like I needed to actually update what was going on so it would make more sense. I try to keep my Instagram um, more consistent, so if I don't get to talk about what's going on in the videos, I'll get it at least upload on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, there's a link down below where you can follow me on Instagram. And then I have some interesting stuff coming up that I can't wait to talk about. I even, I'm so tempted to talk about it in this video even, but 
I, I don't want to spoil it yet. So it'll be in about two weeks, I think. There's something coming in the mail. I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited to update you guys about it. But I, I needed to make this video first. So, so yeah, that's where I'm at. And thanks for watching this video. If you actually got to the end of this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends if they're in, if they like Jeeps. I mean, we're gonna make this happen, guys. We're gonna do it. So. Here goes, let's try this out. Have a good day.